Now here in France, a top court is set to rule on whether to overturn the burkini ban. Several cities have barred the swimwear from beaches and pools, sparking a heated debate over secularism and freedom of expression. Now, for more on this, I'm joined here in the studio by Asif Arif, a lawyer specializing in civic liberties. Thank you very much for coming in uh, to join in on this ongoing discussion that's been going on uh, for a bit of time. Now, firstly, what we've seen in terms of this ban on the burkini, it's various uh, mayors in some cities. Mm -hmm. They uh, issued a decree, however, did not explicitly use the word bikini. It said the ban is on beachwear, which ostentatiously displays religious affiliation, citing the reasons uh, such as the need to protect public order hygiene uh, or French laws on secularism. So we are expecting a ruling uh, in the coming hours mm -hmm. on whether or not to overturn this ban. Firstly, do you think these bans are legal? Well, I don't think they, they are legal at all because it, it, there is a discussion on the public orders. First, on the two other specificities mm -hmm. that the ban are uh, basis on. And the first is political secularism, laicite. Everyone is keeps saying, you know, since the very beginning of this debate, that, oh, this is a this is a breach or an infringement to our main values, including the laicite. But I, I don't think there is any, any laicite involved in this, because the only ban that we have in the public space is the ban of the full veil. Mm -hmm. uh, and if the full veil is not concerned, then you don't have any ban at all and any other way of clothing thing is only the expression of French diversity. So you cannot ban any other clothing or a way of wearing some clothes uh, on the basis of political secularism. So, uh, and, and yesterday, when the debate were going on in front of Conseil d'État or French Supreme Court, as you mentioned, uh, they, the judges were already saying that this is not a very... Uh, a very sound argument yeah, for what we're exactly, seeing. Exactly. So do you expect then the, the ban to be overturned by the, the council? Maybe there will be a discussion on public order uh, rather than these ban are or not uh, con com in compliance with this condition. But I think it will be overcome because it will be, the, the ban will be banned. Right? Because mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. the, the thing is that public order, we already have office, police officer, they already have in their powers the possibility to uh, manage the, uh, we say it in French, tranquillité publique, the public safety or public, uh, I mean, the environment should mm -hmm. be peaceful and everything. So they all already have all means into their power in order to stop if there is any problem. And uh, if we see since the last couple of weeks, yes, there is one problem who become very a national problem and even an international problem. But there is no other uh, incident on the beaches concerning the Burkini. So this is one and isolated way uh, uh, case. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that the French Supreme Court will do anything to uh, confirm this ban. And if we see uh, the last couple of years as well, uh, whenever the French Supreme Court comes to uh, rule over something was, which becoming a very big polemics around the, uh, around France. For example, in 1989, when there was this uh, veal cases about two, two teenagers in a high school, it, the French Supreme Court come to a logical point saying that we cannot ban veil in the public school. In 2010 too, when there was this full veal law, the uh, government, government asked the French Supreme Court to give advice and they seek a legal basis on on uh, what they can base the, the the ban of the veil, the full veil, it's being being understand, and the French Supreme Court has said that the full veil can only be uh, based on the uh, safety and public order, not on the base of political secularism or uh, women's dignity, for example. Well, well, indeed, exactly talking about uh, women's dignity, some people are pointing, once again, this is of a, an opinion of of the garment, saying that it points to the enslavement of women and, and saying that it's France's duty to uphold then that in terms of their one of their one of their rules. So what are your thoughts on that, so, those grounds? I mean, first of all, we are talking in front of a court. So these mm -hmm. arguments are maybe uh, 
a lot of arguments, sociological argument or uh, rights argument, but they are not legal argument. So they will be excluded by the judge. The second thing is that we already have these women who says, even in front of court, that it is my right to wear it. And this needs to be said again and again. If a person wants to wear the burkini or the swimsuit or other, other way of clothing, they might be able to do it. And that's it. But this is not a legal argument, per se. All right. Well, Asif Harif, thank you very much uh, for coming in and sharing with us your perspective. We do appreciate it. Thank you for having me.